In this example, we have ourselves a related rate problem. Uh, we have an oil rig springs a leak in calm seas and the oil spreads in a circular patch around the rig. If the radius of the oil patch increases at a rate of 30 meters per hour, how fast is the area of the patch increasing when the patch has a radius specifically of 100 meters? All right, so we have ourselves something like this, oil rig in the middle, oil spilling out, good. Um, and so we're trying to figure out a little bit of information. So uh, we are given, let's start off with kind of what we know here. All right, so we got this circle going on. We are given um, that we know that this radius of the oil patch is increasing at a rate of 30 meters per hour. So that is the rate at which the radius is expanding is 30 meters per hour. So the radius is changing with respect to time. So 30 meters per hour. So it's actually increasing. Well, so the radius is at its constant rate, but you're creating an area that's getting bigger faster. So um, what we're looking to find, how fast is the area? So that means we are finding um, how fast the area is increasing. So that is a rate. So we are finding dA dt. So how fast is the area changing with respect to time when we have a particular situation? So particularly when our radius is equal to, when radius equals 100 meters. All right, so we need some sort of an equation that when we do the derivative, we're gonna, we're gonna get a dA dt. We need to find that. So we're talking about the area of a circle and the area of a circle is pi r squared. And if we were to take the derivative with respect to time, that's gonna give us our dA dt. All right, so I need to know what we're looking for because then I need to kind of build some sort of an equation that's gonna give us that. So dA dt, if I do the derivative of this, we would get a two pi r times dr dt. So we have a chain rule. And we're doing the derivative of r with respect to time. Um, let's see, what do we know? So we know that the radius is 100, and we're trying to find that. And we also know that we have this constant rate at which the radius is changing. So we plug in what we know. And since this is expanding, I'm going to make sure that I keep it as a positive. If it was shrinking, then I would apply this, have this as a negative. But it's positive, and our area should be then positive. Um, a rate at which the area is changing should be positive as well. So we have a dA dt equals two pi times a radius of 100 times a rate of 30. So if I put all that together, I got six, uh, six with three zeros on it. So the rate at which our area is changing with respect to time is 6,000 pi, and we are talking about meters, but we're talking about an area, so square meters per hour, which is approximately 18,849.56 meters squared per hour. I always like to kind of give, especially on a word problem, give some sort of a non-pi answer because I don't really know how big that is. So I always like to multiply it out to kind of really get a feel for it. That's pretty drastic. So that's a lot of square miles um, at that instantaneous moment is what that was looking for. So that is doing a related rate that involves a circle.